Luke, good to meet you. And you. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad, not too bad. Mate, you've been in the Premier League a few weeks now. How have you enjoyed it? Yeah, absolutely love it. If the night for me, it's, the night was my dream to play there. And the night I've certainly gone a long way around. Then I went to Yeovil and thought I'd never get back there. But now I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. First four games to play the two best teams in the league and hold our own and get a point. Maybe should have got two from them two games. And no, it's brilliant. You say hold your own. You are, you lot are unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, do you get proper beasted in training? Because I've never seen a fitter Premier League team. Yeah, we, we, uh, training, it's, it's hard to explain. Like, there's a lot of mannequin stuff, but it's all short, sharp sprints. But then on a Wednesday, it's a thing called murder ball. We just go out. Yeah, and then, then it's a full-sided game, yeah. and we just play football. We just play a game, but it's like five, five minutes, but people are kicking lumps out of each other. You fall down, you don't get a foul. They're <laughs> counter-attacking, the ball goes out, staff's chucking another ball. Five minutes, you rest for a minute, you go again. So that's where we get our fitness from, I think. So you're literally... Get all... Hell and leather, run into each other, no fouls, no offsides. The most annoying thing for a defender, player will be offside, you scream for offsides, you got... The, the like, manager and four of his member of staffs in the middle of the pitch just going, man, run, run. Out. <laughs> <laughs> it's training like you're playing. I'm sorry, Bill, I'm yeah, sorry, you, sorry. Then, like in three days, you're supposed to be then, like, chasing Mane and you're trying to chase some little 18 year old out there and yeah. he's running past you. You think you've got no chance. And, but it seemed to work for us, so we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep doing our stuff and it works. Amazing. I love <laughs> yeah. that. That's amazing to hear. And you mentioned Mane there. What about your cheeky little nutmeg on him? Yeah, it was nice, you know. <laughs> then, uh, then obviously you're a bit nervous to start the season. And yeah. They come out flying the first four minutes. Jesus, I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be a long day. And then I chucked the megs and I thought, whoa, this is a bit of me, this. This is a bit of me. Then like, I remember looking at Tyler Roberts in the stand. I was like, you see that? <laughs> he was like, yeah, it's... I was like, yeah, we could then. About five minutes later, I'm shoving him down the line. He just goes, whoops, through me legs. And I'm like, Oh no, what's happened here? Because he got you back. Yeah, didn't he got he? me straight back well as well, yeah. proper. Like, so, yeah, it was a. But it was, no, it was a nice opening start, yeah. The gaffer, absolute tactical genius. I mean, I, I absolutely love watching how you guys play. But what's he like off the pitch? Then, like, he's exactly how you see him. Then, like, in his. Then, like, in his technical box, like, he walks up and down, like, out, then out of training, he'll walk around the side, then, like, he will pop into. Um, and like say some words, but then he'll walk straight out. Like then, like he'll be still saying his sentence, but he'll already be walking off, and you'll be stood there like, is that it? Yeah. And just he's just got that aura about him. So then, like when he walks in a room, like it's like, like it's work time. It's the night he's here, so let's all get on it. And I don't know what it is. It's you, you can't really put your finger on it, but. Then like he's come in and he's completely transformed the whole club. Like that ain't just us players, the whole club. Talk to me about your goal of the season, yeah. last season. It weren't bad, was it? Poor. Which one, though? Oh, oh, the goal then, like, of the season. Are you talking about the... Ah, oh, the other, but then, like, Huddersfield got Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, cause I, because I scored a few that year. I scored a few good ones. <laughs> but uh, the, the Huddersfield one, yeah, it's come across. And I've just... I've whacked it, and I... Harrison attacks the left edge of the town box. Now he's crossed. Far post. Ailing arriving. Goal is United. A volley off the underside of the bar from Luke Ailing. In the dressing room the night yeah. the day before, Barry Douglas had said, right, the night we need to find a celebration because the week before I scored against Hull and Barry gave me the chicken man, I thought. Yeah. Right, so I was like, Barry, like, give me a new one. So he said, if you do it, whip the air out and get the guitar. <laughs> so I'd done it. But on the way, then like I've doubled, knotted me, yeah. uh, like me, yeah, so I'm trying to get me me a hairband out, but I'm running out of space to the line, so I'm <laughs> panicking, so I finally got it out and yeah. done it here. Yeah. You look back at me. <laughs> You were jumping on me and everything. I was like, yeah, wicked. I spoke to Calvin Phillips uh, a few weeks back and he says, you're hilarious. He says, you are the joker. He also said that you go around and tell everyone that you play Champions League yeah. football. Well, yeah, yeah. To be fair, you have played Champions League football. Well, it's, it, 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 it's really loosely done because I sat on the bench for 90 minutes and, I, and then, then like, I did do a wicked warm-up that day. I was really good in the warm-up. <laughs> But yeah, so like any time, like especially now, then like with all the boys coming yeah. and like all the new lads have played Champions League, Pablo, yeah. there's Rodrigo and that. Yeah. So like every time they talk, like if they so I go, oh, I've I've also played Champions League, but that was like 11 years ago. So <laughs> yeah, I, then, like, I don't really like to talk about it anymore. But then like, I done it when it used to be good and like a real thing, and it wasn't. Yeah. Like, and they just look at me like, oh, you're a Wally, mate. Go away. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, do you ever? Yeah. Do you ever? Like good old days, eh? Yeah. yeah. Good old days. <laughs> yeah, done that. I think they've got the t shirt, <laughs> fella. Got the, on a serious note, you were at Arsenal. How much did that put you in good stead for, you know, where you are now? Yeah, I think they're not like. They're, and I started there when I was eight and I had a great school, and, you know, the, yeah. the, like, the things that I learned there was brilliant. And then going to uh, then, like, doing my scholarship and then having Steve Bold as my coach then, and then like, I played centre half and yeah. to have Steve Bold Class. coaching you every day yeah. it it really it really kicked me on them two years and things weren't gonna happen for me at Arsenal then like, I knew that I was way off where I needed to be. Then like, I went to Yeovil and spent four years there and it was the best thing I ever did. But mm -hmm. best thing I ever did. Yeah. Just went down there, sleepy old Somerset. Yeah. There was nothing happening like, so I couldn't get yeah, there weren't nothing to do or anything. There was a quite a young group of lads there, and we just had a laugh in Yeovil and played football. It's brilliant. Yeah, brilliant for me. And here you are now. Exactly, and here I am now. Exactly. Yeah. In the Premier League. Yeah. Not Megan Marner. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> yeah. What that? Ten years in the making. <laughs> One Megs, Bosh. See you later. <laughs> Champions League. Eleven years ago. Thanks for coming, mate. Yeah. Great to meet you, mate. Cheers, Andrew. Thanks so Pleasure. Much, mate.